Hey guys, it's Hannah here and it is time for what I wore in January. If you're interested in seeing the products I wore this month and my opinions on them, just stay tuned. Okay, so most of these products are what I packed for the States because obviously that was three weeks of January and then I got sick. Um, so I haven't worn a heap of makeup since then. So it is mostly that stuff, but a few other bits and pieces thrown in. Let's go in order of application. So the primers I took over, my ears fell. I need to figure out a way to store my ears. All right, the primers that I took overseas were the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer Liquid. I don't love this, I don't hate it. It was just something easy to take that would be slightly hydrating. And then my Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Hydrating Primer, which I finally finished up. When I got back, I moved into my Project Pan Primer, which is the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. I'm trying to pan it. I like it, but it's not my favourite matte primer. So, it's currently being panned. For foundations, the foundations I took with me are the It Cosmetics CC Plus and the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I mix these together to get a nice medium coverage long wear but hydrating product i really like this combination together i don't like either of them particularly on their own but together they're great but i wouldn't repurchase for that reason when i got home i worked on finishing off my Giorgio armani power fabric foundation which is also in my project pan i also took a powder foundation to the states it is the pure four-in-one mineral powder don't love this as a powder foundation. I much prefer my one size. Um, I will use this as a powder with coverage to set my face. Also took the Laura Mercier Mini Translucent Powder with me to set when I used the liquid foundation combination and to set my under eyes, the Dior Powder No Powder that I have been panning and you guys all know about. When I got back, I continued playing with my Luna, Be Luna Beauty Luniversal Loose, yeah, Luniversal Setting Powder in Translucent Light. I'm really enjoying this powder. <coughs> Apologies, I'm recovering from being unwell. Um, it does take away a little bit of the coverage on my nose, but otherwise it sets really well. I just need to, it's something I'm aware of and I know how to work with it. So I'm really enjoying that. Brows. Um, Elf Wow Brow. I really like this stuff. Um, I opened this up as I went away. And this is great. I really hope it becomes easily accessible in Australia, not just online. Because this is probably, not probably, this is on par with every tinted brow gel I've tried. And I would happily repurchase this over any of them, which is great. But since being back, I have really wanted to focus on my brow pencils. So I have been using my Gimme Brow. My Gimme Brow is what I've used today. I need to use my brow pencils because I have backup brow pencils. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this up. This Gimme Brow needs to be finished up. And there's still so much product in there. So I... I'm going to retire the e.l.f. until I finish the Gimme Brow and the the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit because I need to use these up. I also have opened up the Precisely My Brow but I can use this with the Gimme Brow, not the Gimme Brow, the uh, Wow Brow because I use it just to fill in the... Um, I shape underneath with it and just do the inside but this I need to use as a full brow so I'm going to do it I'm going to focus on it you are here I am telling you this is gonna happen I'm gonna use these two up and I'm not touching other brow products until I till I do that is my goal eyes palettes I took with me sorry eye primer I am painting the NARS smudge proof tinted smudge proof eye primer so that went with me and is here. Oh, concealer. I forgot concealer. My Sigma Color Corrector Duo and the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle was my concealer corrector combo of choice. I'm panning this 
This is just super easy to travel with, so that's what I took. Eyes, what I took with me was the ColourPop Head Capricorn in Charge and the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye Palette. A cool tone option, a warm tone option, completely different price points, but super pretty nonetheless. I love both of these products, rave about them. And then since being back, I have been playing with my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Palette. I picked this up at the Sephora sale, which I didn't collect my products that I'd purchased till I was with Melissa. So far, I'm really loving this. I am going to continue using it into February because I've only used it a handful of times and I want to keep playing with it. But I also want to play with all the other palettes that I purchased in the States. So there's that. Um, mascara, I opened up my Rare Beauty Mascara. I love this stuff. It is fantastic. I'm going to use it till it's done because it is a favorite. I also took the Rare Beauty um, eyeliner with me. This is not a favorite. I think I prefer it, all of my other brown liners over this. I just don't think this grips as well to the waterline as the other eye brown eyeliners I've been trying. But it was retractable and easy, so I took it with me. Cheeks. Bronzer. So obviously I took the Natasha Denona Glam Face and Eye, which I um, should open and show you. It has warm tone eyeshadows and then a bl cream blush and a highlighter. Um, I took my L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Bronzer. I love this bronzer and it's L'Oreal, so if it was broken, I didn't particularly care. I could easily replace it. Love it. I also took the Hourglass Mood Exposure Blush for a cool tone blush and the Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone. Love both of those products. The Hourglass has been a favorite for years. And then since being back, I've been playing with my Sigma Beauty and the Beast Cheek Palette. Um, I am wearing Beauty Within and Lumiere today. And this is just super pretty. And I, again, will continue playing with it next month. But I also have a whole lot of blush I need to try. So we'll see how I go there. Uh, lip products. The lip products I took with me were the... Too Faced Lady Bold Lip Liner in Badass and the Dose of Colors Lip Liner in Truffle. I love this Too Faced Lip Liner so much. It is phenomenal. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and the Dose of Colors is really pretty. It's just a warmer tone option. And I took three <clears throat> glossy lip products with me. Um, M Cosmetics Mona Lisa Lip Luminizer, Elf hydrating shine lip product hydrocore sh lip shine in giddy and a ColourPop glowing lip in a color i don't know because it doesn't have a sticker on it um these are super duper pretty hydrating colors i swatched that in the swatched all of the makeup i took with me in the what i packed video so if you want to see swatches of those go there um i didn't swatch the i need a nude because i swatch it in the haul that you're gonna see soon and something else from that haul that hasn't gone up yet. I forgot that you haven't seen this haul yet. So I bought, so these are things that I bought while I was in the States. Um, the Revy Beauty Effortless Lips. So I'll swatch these for you. Um, the one I'm wearing today, let's start with that, is Lily. And it is a gorgeous sheer nude. I'm going to put a little bit more on because I can. Then we have Dahlia, which I wore yesterday, which is a more pinky nude. And then the one I wore in the video that is coming where I bought all these products is Tulip, which is the pinky raspberry shade. Super pretty, super comfortable, effortless lips is a fantastic name for them. I love them. They're gorgeous. And I will continue to use them into the next month, though I have a million lip products I need to try. So those hauls will be coming after this. I forgot that I hadn't that those hauls were not up yet. So sneak peek on some of the things I purchased in the States. Um, but yes, I obviously had already shared most of my thoughts on these in that what I packed video. So if you want to see more thoughts, go and see that. The other things I've only used like three times 
because I've only just gotten them and hauled them. So I will be using them into February. And so come back to watch my what I wore in February for opinions on that. Um, setting sprays I took to the States were the MAC Fix Plus and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. Love both of those. And then since being back, I've been using my panning, the one I'm panning, which I don't love, which is the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over. So that's what I wore in February, and not February, January. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what products you've been using lately and your thoughts on them. I'd love to chat. And please subscribe to stay tuned for the huge hauls that are coming with all the makeup I bought in the States. <coughs> <coughs> Almost made it through without a second coughing fit. <coughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.